Hello people, um, Miles here, doing a Kerbal Space Program video. I have done other videos before on Kerbal Space Program. You will not have seen any of these, they all failed miserably. So, in order to actually be able to put out a proper video, I've been practicing playing Kerbal Space Program. This is the, uh, the start game menu. I actually went to hover over a save that I'd already done, but that didn't really work because it was I got the wrong menu. So I don't, okay, we're going to start a new game here. May as well. Um, hmm. What to call it? Not sure actually. Uh, not global. Interplanetary stuffs. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Oh, flag. Hmm. Hmm. How about Kevin? That's good. Right, start. <coughs> so here we are at the the starting area. This is the vehicle assembly buildings where you make all your rockets vertical. Same thing things. That's the launching pad. So you go from there up, and so you build the stuff to go from there to there and then up. That's the space plane here. That's planes. They go from there to there, and then that way, or that way. If you want, it it depends. You can do whatever you want. Tracking station. Now, if you already had ships in flight that you previously put up there, let's say in an orbit around the moon, around there. Which is Kerbin's moon, cleverly called the moon. Had an orbit around there. Then you had to go for whatever. Or you had to get another craft up there with it. You go and do that. And then later on, you need to take control of it later, come back to here. And then take control of it from there. Also shows where everything is. And literally, it's track station, lets you keep control of everything. For now, though, I'm going to send a simple craft. I think I'll send a satellite into orbit. Simple. Satellite probe body thing. You need one of them. Then a control. That's yes. That'll basically make sure I don't have to continuously baby it. It'll stabilize itself and stuff like that. Do you want this to come back? Nah, it's not coming back. Which means that we can just straight on put the tank of fuel. Or well, a tank of fuel, certainly. And now it needs all sciencey stuff, so it needs its accelerometers. Symmetry. Three times symmetry, I think. No, two times symmetry. Three times symmetry is just too much. It needs its communitrons. Again, two times symmetry. But then it also needs its other communitrons. Two times symmetry again. <coughs> it has ears. It has Pikachu ears. They do look a lot like Pikachu's ears. In the way that they're stripy and yellow. But Pikachu's are, aren't, aren't even stripy, are they? Are they stripy? Comment if they're stripy. They're going to be stripy, aren't they? Um, key weight no stop 01 Kerbal D Unreconstitutor. Constitutionator. Turns Kerbals into Keithane. Oh dear. Basically disintegrate them for stuff that's not nice. I'm not gonna be doing that. Put thermometer. Barometer. There we go. Good good. Okay. So this is a stage which is actually gonna be in space. So we'll need four like these things. And attached to it, we're gonna have four fuel tanks. No. No. There we go. One of these or the bigger ones, I can't tell. No them. And then we're gonna do this. Which essentially it it do it from there to there. It takes all the fuel from there and feeds it to there. So this will run out first and then they will run out. We'll use the nuclear engines because atomic rocket motors because they're extremely efficient. 800 ISP, which is 800 efficiency essentially. And then this thing, for example, has 370. 
So this is many times more efficient than that. Well, not many times. It's a lot more efficient than that. Hmm. And then we want... Where is it? B b no. No. Structural. Mm hmm. No, that's too big. There we go. Stack the coupler. We want a second stage. But we don't want one of the small stages. We want a big stage. So we want to put that on there. That's wrong around. So you just press D a few times. Flip it over. And there we go. That's the right way around now. Then just attach. No. There we go. Attach this on. One of them. Another one of them. As you can see, these are significantly bigger than the other ones. The probe does not need to be big. This does need to be big because it's trying to push against the gravity and trying to push through the atmosphere. So it needs to be big. Which is why it is. Just, yeah. Hmm. Yep. Asparagus staging. Asparagus staging essentially where you set it up in such a way so that that tank and that tank fall first. Then that tank and that tank fall first. And then that tank and that tank fall last. And then that tank engages. Or you can have it so all of them are on at once. So they're all going to be on. And then all of the tanks will feed off those two. Then they'll run out of fuel real quickly and they'll drop off. Then all the, then these four tanks will feed off those two. Then they'll run out of fuel real quickly and drop off. Then these two tanks will feed off each other. They'll just sort of run. Then they'll fall off. And then this starts. And then you've just basically got the atmosphere really efficiently. Which is good because getting to the atmosphere is the hardest part. Which is why you only need this little bit. will get us like all the way around. But this bit has to get us out of the atmosphere. Which is difficult to do. Drink every time I say atmosphere. In fact, no, don't do that. I do not want to be responsible for deaths. Hmm. So just... There to there. You have to do this individually, by the way. You can't do it one by one. You can't do it all at once, because otherwise it just sort of feeds around in a loop and does literally nothing. And opposite one is also doing that. To there to there. I'm not neat, by the way. You want neatness, go to a different channel. In fact, don't. Please don't go to a different channel. If you want me to be more neat, I can be more neat. I can sort that out. I do have OCD. I just managed to ignore it for this purpose, because I, if I had OCD here, then I would probably end up killing myself. I can't have OCD, because I'm not good enough to have OCD. I do not have the privilege of OCD. <sighs> I may I'll find a way to edit this bit out because this is a dull flip. No, no, no. Right. You good? There's the struts just to make sure the things are wobble around because it will. See all these connectors and stuff there to make sure it doesn't wobble because that's not particularly strong. It's holding up a mass amount of fuel and it's gonna be bearing the weight of all of that plus all the thrust. So it just it can't it can't really take it on its own. You need to give it some support with these struts. We get a strut in there, to there, and opposite side of the other tank. There's some six times symmetry, so whatever I do to here happens everywhere else as well. So there we go. I want to call it. Uh, hmm. I'm going to try and get to polar a little bit. So, polar. Sa. Sa. Tier. Light. No, that's not how you spell it. Satellite. No, satellite. Oh, satellite. I'll spell that with a capital S. Sa. Tier. Light. This sort of thing, which gives you a TV. Um. So yeah, but I'm not finished yet. No, because all these six engines start, okay? Then they break off. Then that engine starts. Middle end, that engine there, and the staging is that engine. So that engine starts after all these have burned up. Unfortunately, at the moment, they're all going to drop at the same moment. They're going to drop at the same time, which isn't good because they are be dragging empty weight as they go up, which isn't, which is completely pointless. Empty drag, stuff I just don't need. 
So the first ones to go are these two tanks. So I'll create a new little thing for it. Open it up and find where those two tanks are. So look for that thing to glow. So that one is there. So I move that one down into there. Then I find this connector. And that connector is that one. So I move that one down there. Good. Now the next group to go is this one. These two. These two. These opposite two are the next ones to go. So then I find where they are, vice versa. There we go. There they are. <coughs> so now they're all set up. So they will go, then they will go, then they will go, then they'll start, then that'll go, then they will start. Though it's in orbit, probably just leave them on there. And there we go. But, remembering now, before I forget, these things require power. They run with power. So I need to give it power. So photovoltaic solar panels should work well. We'll give it two of them. That should be enough to be honest. And we'll give it an extra battery back as well so when it's on the dark side it can still work. And we'll give it some of these little oxstat ones which work all the time. They don't have to be opened or closed or anything. They just sort of there, so that'll keep it running. Remember, if you forget to put them on, then your satellite will die. You won't be able to do anything. You won't be able to start up engines. You won't be able to open up those. If it runs out of power, you won't be able to even open them up. So those don't need to open them up. They also supply power. So it's really good to have just even one of them somewhere. Because you'll be able to start up any size ship from that. So save. Look good. I'll just put some more struts in between these two. No, it isn't pretty, but you know what, it's a spaceship, uh, no one's ever going to see this again, most of it's going to crash into the floor, so yeah, let's go. I say most of it, that's assuming all of it doesn't, just load up, uh, there we go, much better, so just swallow up with shift, move up to maximum. Press T to engage the SAS. You need one of those little modules there, though, to have SAS. Otherwise, you press T and nothing happens. Then you press space to start. So you can feel that going down. Two of them going down much faster than others. Because those two, sorry, are being drained much faster because they're supplying everything. Which is far more efficient. They're probably going to crash into the floor and kill someone, or several people. I just hope they clear the bomb. I just hope they clear the landing bay, landing bay, landing place, landing area section. Mm. Eh. Doesn't really matter what it's called. Oh, I'm spinning around. There's not really much I can do about this. This thing's trying as hard as it can to contain it, but it can't. That'd be like an imbalance in one of the pylons somewhere. Despite symmetry. Makes it very difficult to turn over though. To lean. So there we go, I'm leaning now. Oh god. I didn't notice that. That's bad of me. I'm probably gonna get absolutely destroyed by that in the comments, because that's really, really stupid. Okay, what's the orbit? Press M to go to the map getting more polar. I can always adjust it while in space. Lower the thrust a bit, don't have to push through that much atmosphere. 500 meters per second, that's a kilometer every two seconds. Yeah, that's pretty damn, that's pretty damn fast. You know it is. It's, it's just gas. Because it's space. Well, not space yet, but it's space travel. And space travel is just insanely quick. Well, it's not insanely quick, it only takes like years, but insanely fast speeds in comparison to what we're used to. Bound by the atmosphere, we can only go at a certain speed without being ripped to shreds. But in space, you can go really, 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 we're not even at the atmosphere yet. We're already going at thousands of meters per second. Well, a fairly high orbit. Uh, that's pretty high. 
let's let this burn out. And X to stop it entirely. And it's just sort of floating. But I do want to extend this because at the moment it's going to go up and then down. I don't want to just go up and then down. It's a bit short for my liking. So just engage a bit of thrust to get gimballing, which is basically where your engine tilts to help you. Uh, and time accelerate. Oh, time accelerate to cancel all the velocity. Not velocity, um, rotary stuff. Cancels all rotary motion for you. It's basically a cheat. You're not really supposed to use it. I use it though. Because that's how bad I am. Not bad at this game. I'm not exactly brilliant at the game, but that's what a bad man I am. Uh, there we go. Wait until an appropriate height. I'm only doing orbit around Kerbin. It's not even a very polar orbit, is it? It's a bit of crap, actually. Just wait. So we're just burning now. Going fairly fast. It's a decent high absence. Yeah, tilt it around up a bit, up a bit more. Tilt it all up, tilt it around a bit more. There we go. I'm gonna wait until these two rings meet each other. Go for it. Two sides meet each other once they meet like that. Perhaps it's, it's the lowest altitude I'll get to. And boop, stop. Not a very circularized orbit, not gonna lie. But it'll do. Kinda has to as well, to be honest. Right. Well. It's an orbit. It's a pretty crap one though. I kinda do want to increase my periapsis. I want that bit to be bigger. So I use the marker, you click on a point, and then you use these, that's prograde. So that's with the orbit, with the direction you're going, that's against the direction you're going, it's retrograde. So just use prograde to go, oh, no. No, I don't do that. A bit more, just sort of drag them out and just sort of extend. There we go. 390, 320, that's not that good. They're pretty damn far away. Oh, there we go, perhaps this map. Man, perfect. So if I follow that exactly, then exactly what I want to happen will happen. So I'm trying to move right now. Not really working too well, not gonna lie. Okay, just give me a bit more thrust. Oh, this is massively changing what I have to do. See, look, that's increasing the uh Required velocity for stuff is increasing massively because I burn now drastically affects what happens later. So that wasn't really a very good idea. But I forgot to bring any RCS with me. RCS is rocket control system. I forgot to bring any rockets, like little propulsion systems with me. So I have to manually use the gyroscope. And the gyroscope inside a probe is absolute crap. That maneuver is now irrelevant. Oh, it's updated itself. Well, that's good. That's bad. It's bad. Bad maneuver. Bad maneuver. Extend it a bit. Oh. Don't really quite want to flip entirely. Just want to flip. So there we go. Yep. Perfect. Now we wait 15 minutes. Well, now, now we would wait 15 minutes, but time acceleration. Press these little, you know, the, co the full stop and comma, respectively, to speed up and slow down time. I can check, is it actually in the right place? Because sometimes these nodes can be really, really mean and just not 
Oh, nice. I don't really like losing it using nodes. The tendency to go. I'm not actually. I know I'm not actually on the blue marker, but I'll get on it really, really quickly once I start burning. Like I said, it doesn't need to be a perfect orbit. It just needs to be an orbit. And I'm actually getting there as well. So, and burn now. To cancel. Oh god, well, I'm spinning. That was. They're pretty damn close to each other. So the orbit is, orbit is pretty circular. The nearest damn that polar. Well, it is polar. It goes from one pole to the other. It's not perfectly. My graph is just sort of randomly spinning. Cancel that while time warping. Um. Well, yeah. Trouble is, I really didn't need all that asparagus staging hard work to get up here. Because look, I've still got fuel left in this main tank. And I was meant to use this to mess around with. Don't even need to use it though, which is a shame. Press space anyway, don't really need this up here. Oh. So we'll open these. Toggle. Toggle. I can't quite so I'll fast forward so I can see. Now I can see. Um click these things, I'll click them. Open them out. Open them out. Let's activate these solar panels activate the solar panels activate 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 Everything's on. Good. <sighs> Trouble is, you do have this massive big tank here. Um. <sighs> I'm going to eject because I don't need it. If I want my orbit to be polarized, I need to perfectly polarize, which I do. I need to go find this like the center point where it starts to tilt. Click on it and then use these to tilt it. Now my craft is lighter. It can actually swivel itself around. Because without that thing it's much, much lighter. It can actually swivel itself around now with the um I guess doesn't find much fuel. I'll probably go to the moon, to be honest. Hmm. Just sort of solve this round. Get to that blue marker again. Maybe I'll edit out some of this stuff because it's boring as hell. Uh, and uh. I'm hoping to touch to the point where I'm going to need to do it. Seven minutes, six minutes, five minutes, four, three, two, one. Slow it down a bit so I don't miss. Once you miss the node, you have to wait for it to come back around again. And if you're not in a stable orbit, as in you're going to hit the atmosphere and then crash eventually, then you're kind of screwed. You kind of need to make sure you don't miss any nodes at that point.
and it has been powderized. I think a bit more might help. Just a tad more. There we go. There you go. Powderized. Very circular indeed. Very decent orbit. And if I need to, I have the fuel. Plenty of fuel. I could even go to the moon. So if you want me to take this to the moon, please tell me. And I'll just get hot back onto this thing, take it to the moon. I easily could. I didn't realise I actually would be able to. Oh, you normally can't without planning to. But that's actually accidental, which is impressive. Where's that big lump of fuel that's gone, hasn't it? I'm probably many kilometres away from it now. Yeah, that's space for you. You know, moving away from it at 100 metres per second solidly, you'll always be moving away from 100 metres per second, so in 10 seconds you're a kilometre away from the thing. So, oh, there it is. See? Yep, moving away from it very, very quickly. Moving away from it at 63 metres per second. My target. Relative to my target, 63 metres per second. Which is just dandy. Stop the target. There we go. Right, well, I will see you at some other time. Please tell me if you like enjoy my videos. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever. Don't really care. This is Miles, signing off. And uh, have fun, guys. Bye.